Um, greetings and welcome. Today we have the, we already discussed the introduction of the novel Animal Farm from George Orwell. Now, the objective for today is to go in depth with chapter number one and chapter number two. What I'm gonna do is, um, so it can be easier for you guys, I'm gonna break it down in, in, in videos for each chapter. So we have 10 chapters for Animal Farm, so I'm gonna be doing um, 10 videos. In the, in the assignments, I'll, I'll let you know how we're gonna cover um, the videos and I'll, I'll provide the, the instructions in the platform. Um, however, um, it, it, it's prefer to, I prefer to just do it individually because then you have a scope of the chapter per se and, and you'd have to mix into um, things that happen from one chapter to the other chapter so you can have all of that conglomerated in, in one chapter. I believe it's easier for you guys to grasp um, the information that is needed for, for the assignments that are going to come um, from Animal Farm. So basically we have here the, the, the novel and, and we, we know that in the early stages of our novel in chapter one, um, the owner of Maynard Farm, that's the name of the farm, is a guy named Mr. Jones. Um, we, we will know that Mr. Jones um, had a wife and, and kids, but they're not gonna appear in the novel. There, no appearance for, from them. I want you guys to know that from the get-go. Um, there are going to be some problems with Mr. Jones and eventually those problems are going to cause what it's going to cause. Um, so when, when Mr. Jones goes to sleep, the, uh, a white boar, the leader of the pack um, of, of all, all of the animals, this guy's name is Old Major, and I already discussed in the background um, who Old Major represented in the Bolshevik Revolution of 1917. So Old Major will be a great speaker, and and he has this ability of convincing his people, uh, well, convincing the animals in this case, because this is going to be portrayed through through animals. So this um, white boar will have uh, an impact, an oral impact like anyone else. And the, the way of the persuasion that old major is gonna have to eventually motivate um, the animals to do what, what he dreams. Apparently he, has, he had a dream um, previous nights and, uh, and he wanted to share that dream with the rest of the animals. Why this dream is so important? Because this dream will open the gates, it will, be, uh, it will open a chain of, of events um, that will ultimately uh, transpire throughout the, the next chapters of the novel all the way till the end. Um, so what was that dream? Well, apparently his dream was of rebellion. He, he, that dream apparently um, motivated Old Major to go into rebellion. He said, well, um, that's what we need to do. And he will share that with the animals. He said, it doesn't matter if it happens in 100 years, it will ultimately happen. We will have rebellion. And we need, we need to take care um, of business. And if we wanna have rebellion, we have to unite be one and fight against our common enemy. And that common enemy, it's none other than uh, Mr. Jones. Uh, also, he will go to the animals, they will say, hey, we don't have nothing to lose. Our lives are miserable. Look at the cows. Some of the cows are not, had not been milked. And as time progresses, Mr. Jones continues to get older and by getting older he is gonna fall into not taking care of the farm um, the, the the grass is gonna be up the the barn is gonna be all messed up it, it needs some restoration 
So right now, the structure of the farm, it's not very good. Um, the animals are not in a very good state. So it seems as the dream comes in a perfect time because Old Major says, we are close to this. We need to go and we need to move forward with the rebellion. If we don't do it, it doesn't matter when we do it. We need to do it because if not, our misery will not end. Going back to the introductory introductory video, we have to, to keep in mind, are we better with or with not um, that rebellion? Old Major is going to say something. He will say, the only enemy that the animals are going to have are men. That's their enemy, Mr. Jones and his men, the, the employees uh, that he has. Uh, also, Old Major is going to say something very interesting. Uh, whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy. Whatever goes upon four legs or has wings is a friend. There's a quote from Old Major in chapter one. Very interesting. Whatever goes on, this is something that you cannot forget. Whatever goes on two legs is an enemy. Write that in your notes. If you're taking notes, don't forget that. Also, he's going to say that no animal shall live in a house. Pay attention. Sleep in a bed. Wear clothes. Drink alcohol. Smoke tobacco. Touch money. Engage in trade. All the habits of men are evil. Pay attention to this. Above all, no animal must ever turn eyes over his own kind. No animal can oppress the rest of the animals. Don't forget that. O Major will introduce an anthem that they will adopt named Beast of England. And uh, Beast of, the way they sing Beast of, Beast of England is pretty much like the song La Cucaracha, same way. Um, and, and they will start singing the, the anthem. And, and the, since the animals, they get all excited, Mr. Jones will wake up. And he will spring out of bed and will grab his, his um, gun and will shoot six times uh, into the darkness and that's the end of the of the of the meeting everyone is like okay let's let's get out of here three nights after the meeting something very very sad will happen three days later after that first meeting but I'm gonna leave it there. You wanna know what happened? Stay tuned for the video of chapter number two. Take care.